Hi guys, welcome back to our second HTML5 tutorial. And in this video, we are going to continue with some more tags. I'm stressing on tags so much because the tags are the basic, very basic building blocks for any of the HTML page. Without tags, we cannot uh, build any web page. It is most important. So, guys, who so missed my first video, please go and watch that video. So you will be getting some information about uh, what where we are going with and what is the flow of HTML we are learning. I'm giving the link on the right hand side. Please click on watch on the watch on the first video and then come back over here so in the first video we have discussed this much the doc type html head and the body so in this video i am going to specially mention you for one single term called as attribute so what is this attribute attributes is something the extra information we are giving with an element or an tag so here for example here heading this is the heading i, I will save it and i will reload the page So this is pretty much we have learnt in the last tutorial. So I'm going to give, give an attribute for this. Let's say align center. So as you guess, it will be aligned to the center. So this is for attribute. There there be there are attribute name and value attribute name and value so this is the attribute name the align is the attribute name and the center is the value this is something extra information given to the element or the tag so we are basically telling browser okay browser this is the heading and i want it to align to the center so browser align it to the center so as there are different attributes for different tags and there are some of the common attributes which we can use for uh, many more tags like for example i will show it here only i will just copy and paste it here save and reload you can see here uh, this is a paragraph this is a paragraph uh, tag over here and it is aligned to the center so i am using the same attribute for the uh, two elements are tags over here one more example in the HTML uh, element, in the HTML tag, I am giving LING that is language is equals to EN, which pretty much stands for language is equals to English. So, this is telling the browser that language we are using here is English. Okay, that is not compulsory, that's just a standard over there. Next, there are some special attributes only reserved for some of the tags over here. So uh, let me show you that and in the process I will be giving you, I, I will be learning a new tag. Let me say, if you want to display a image on the web page, uh, there are no web page that contains without images, at, at least there will be one image over there. So how to do that? So img image source is equals to, as I mentioned earlier, some of the tags need not be having the closing tags image tag is one of the tags where we don't have the closing tag so you can see it is directly uh, forward slash and uh, closing the uh, braces over there it doesn't contain any closing tags so image is the name of the tag and source SCR sorry that is SRC source is equals to the path of the image where you have uh, uh, store the image in the local drive that will be the path of the image if you are developing for a web server it will be the image where you are stored in the uh, web folder so for the time being we will consider the image is stored in a local uh, a local disk so just uh, go to the image properties copy the location paste it over here and name of the image html1 dot jpeg so save it i will reload it you can see the image is appeared on the web web page so it is it has covered the whole the whole of the web page so i will give i uh, will learn another some more attribute example so i will give the width and height for the specify width and height for the image pixels height is equals to 200 pixels so what happens it will be specified to the 200 pixels and 200 pixels here px stands for pixels pixels is some one of the measuring not it is not the only measuring unit it is one of the measuring unit in the 
HTML or HTML or language. So what next? In some of the web pages, you may be seeing that there will be an uh, there will be an option like uh, if you click on something, it will navigate to the some of the page. That term is called as hyperlink. Hyperlinks hyperlink means if you click on that, it will be navigated to the link which is outside the web page. So let me show you an example. For that, we use an tag called anchor tag. Anchor tag. Here a a stands for anchor tag. href href inside href we will be uh, giving where we want to navigate the user after clicking upon that link. So let me say I will go for google.com. Click here. So anchor tag as a closing tag. You can see here anchor tag as a closing tag. I will save it and reload it. You can see the uh, link has appeared here. What happens if, if I click on that? If I click on that, it is going for google.com. I have not connected to the internet, so it is uh, just going uh, over the Google. Uh, it is not going for the google.com. So, this is not. Oh, I'm not connected to the internet, so it is navigating. But you can see it is navigating to the Google.com. So, if you if I want a user to click on an image and go oh, go to that link, what at that time? So you can combine both image tag and the uh, anchor tag over here. I will show you. Uh, just copy that over here. Embed the image tag inside the anchor tag. You can see first the uh, first the anchor tag is given. A is rough is equal to. Then the image tag is given. The source of the image is given. Then the anchor tag is closed. So pretty much this will act as a word. The image tags act as a word. So I will reload it. Whenever now you can see the difference. When I hover the mouse on it, the mouse cursor is changing. So when I click on this, it is going for Google.com. So in this way, you can embed any of the thing inside an href that is an hyperlink. You can give for uh, h1 also. Like if I click on h1, you should go go navigate to the Google.com. Just embed inside. It's very simple thing over here. So you can see it is changing. When I click on that, it is navigating to the Google.com. So guys, this is something called as attribute and attribute value, attribute name and attribute value. Uh, so in this tutorial, we have learned three things. That is, what is attribute, what is image tag, what is href, that is anchor tag, and uh, which is known as uh, uh, hyperlink. So in the upcoming tutorials, we'll be learning more like how to create a menu, how to create when you suppose if you are writing an article, how to create a menu so that a user can go and uh, we will embed the hyperlink. Or we can go for different pages and uh, we'll be learning about lists. Uh, if we want to display a list of uh, items available, if, we, if, if it is a grocery store or something for the uh, for the list available, there are two types of list that is ordered list and unordered list. We'll be learning every much pretty much everything in the next video. So thank you guys. Please subscribe and please stay tuned because I will be updating regularly and you should be you should not miss the flow so that uh, we'll be continuing until the web development uh, till we launch a website our pretty own website with all the server side scripting also done. So thank you guys.